So with the saxophone, you know, we talked about that portamento idea of just, you know, playing through one long breath and changing the keys. But what about like a glissando? So there's only a certain small range that you can bend a note on a saxophone, right? Right. I would say anywhere over a half step is going to be too far to bend on a saxophone. But if we have a glissando going up, we'll play individual notes in between in rapid succession. <laughs> And a bend, we can only go as far as maybe a half step. Oh. So with the gliss, Swam handles that pretty much in the same way. If I try to, um, you know, glissando from one note or portamento from one note to a way higher note that you couldn't do that with, I've got the option to actually play a, a quick chromatic scale. Uh, and I don't have to play it. It does it for me automatically. So I'll play my low note. And then... You hear it kind of just jumps right up to there and it picks it up for me, which is great because, you know, that would be kind of tough to pull off really fast and get it exactly the way it sounds like on the saxophone. Now, I notice I'm hearing a lot more, you know, breath through this sort of big honking instrument you got there. Uh, you ever do any growling with the sax? Do a little bit of growling with the saxophone. Important technique for saxophone, different tools. So, yeah, I see growling on here and I can... I can adjust the level and amount of growling. What is that going to do in a real instrument? So when you growl, you're changing your tone. Man, that's a dirty sound. And that's great. And you can really adjust by how much you're kind of humming along with it or singing along with it in that multiphonic type of thing, right? Uh, how much you bring it in. So growl on the swam instrument is also continuously variable. So I can adjust how much of the growl I want. <laughs> versus none. So that's pretty neat. Um, now, I was just thinking, you know, it probably takes a lot of work with your mouth and your tongue to push that out. Do you ever do any flutter tonguing? I do flutter tonguing, but I'd like to show that on flute. All right, right, sure. You have a flute? I have my flute with Let's me. Let's do it. So with the flutter sound on the flute, you'll be able to mix up your articulations to add a little extra to it. So that's really neat. I've got flutter here and it's continuously variable as well. So I can bring it in on certain notes and articulate. And then pull it out. Well, that's really neat. So there's a lot that goes into these woodwind instruments to get them to sound real. And, you know, I think that you really have to learn a lot about the instrument, uh, you know, and all the different things it can do so that you can take advantage of them on the swam instrument. Absolutely. Thanks a lot for showing us, Joe. Thank you.